Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and today I think that I'm just going to ramble because I think I might have run out of topics for Vlogmas. I honestly have no idea what to talk about today, um, and this might be people's argument against why I shouldn't do Vlogmas from my car when I haven't got the software at home in which to edit these videos so I'm just cutting out a few clips here and there on every other video and calling it done I'm saying the quality in your channel has diminished Charlie but let's be honest there never was any quality I kind of held myself to this really high standard and oftentimes would never meet it. And then these last few weeks when I've been uploading these unedited videos, I've been like, there we go. We finally realised that it doesn't matter when you have the best quality content out there, Charlie, because people still ain't going to watch your videos. I'm sorry, I just wanted to be a um, slight bit sarcastic. I am actually grateful to anybody who does, in fact, watch me ramble incessantly about topics of which I have no knowledge. Because it warms my heart slightly. Um, I We now know who the murderer was on Emmerdale. And that really annoys me. Because I think that it was the most predictable. And the one that they hadn't really hidden from and you could kind of figure it out if you looked at character motive and anything and yeah it wasn't really the best ending in the world but you know it's better than some uh what else could we talk about we could talk about gifts we could talk about the fact that it's what nine days till christmas and i still haven't bought a single present and I have no idea what to buy for people at all. Like, there is not an iota of an idea in my head of what to buy people. None. People, my, I only buy for my family. Um, me and my friend Abercrombie exchange a gift every now and then. Me and my friend Liz and I imagine Rosie exchange gifts as well. But it's... You know, it's not a whole host of people. Like, it's strictly under 10. I don't buy for a ton. I don't go overboard. And I prefer to spend the money on my family and the people that I live with than I would. And I'd say, I'd say the same to my friends. If they wanted to spend their money on their family rather than get a present for me and feel like they're obligated to then get it for your family because you know they're the people that have got to bury you at the end of the day um i don't know i just oh morning mr magpie i don't know whether i don't know what it is i just don't know what to get for people basically I have no idea and they could even tell me and be like but that doesn't feel like a gift that doesn't feel like something that I want to get for you that just doesn't feel right like a few years ago I'd found out in like the July what all their favorite things were decided I was going to buy them presents that would have a use and then structured all of their presents that were useful so like my sister liked Save by the Bell when we were younger. I got her a Save by the Bell calendar. And I set myself an amount that I could spend on both my brother and sister. I don't spend the same on my parents. Um, and yet, now, I have to buy for all three brothers. And I have no idea what to get for them. And one of them chooses to have his birthday on Christmas Eve. Like, what's that about? Obviously, going to buy for my sister. Got to buy for my parents. Got a grandmother to buy for. And then my friends. Okay, so I've got ten. I've got ten people to buy for. And 
Oh, Lord, I've got 12 now. See, this is why I don't do presents, because I never remember how many I've got to buy for people. And when I thought I had less than 10 to buy, this made this video a lot easier to flaming talk about. Oh, my Lord, I'm going to call this gifts. There, we'll talk, we'll call this video gifts. Remember this in future, Charlie. This video is called gifts. Oh, my Lord. What the heck am I going to do? I've got to buy 12 presents for people in nine days. I'm glad that Amazon Prime exists. I'm glad. I'm glad that I can, cons you know, I can support consumerism and capitalism and all of the other isms through that one website. I actually have no idea what to get for people now. Do you think they'd all like expect, you know, I could just like take them all out for McDonald's on Boxing Day. That's not going to happen. I don't have that kind of money. Okay, so if anyone would like to suggest some gift ideas that kind of suit everybody, then please feel free. You kind of got a hint of what my sister likes. So David's here again. So yeah, just send me uh, ideas of what we could get for these people. Right, the window's coming down. The window is coming. The window's not coming down. The window's down. The window is down. He's scraping the ice off his wing mirror, which surely he should have done before he set off this morning. And he is reversing. He's reversing. And, oh my lord, you're never going to believe it. He's actually managed it. He has ended up in the same position he was in yesterday. And by that I mean he's over two spaces again. I tell you. I tell you. This is one of my favourite parts about the morning. Just seeing how that man parks. Oh my lord, he's actually look he's actually got out of his car and he's looking to see if he's got any more space to reverse. Go to the other side of your car. Just go to your other side. Sorry. I'll leave it. I won't talk about him anymore. Um but just know that he thinks he's been very successful at his parking. Um we had a wave and I think that's everything now. There we go. Um He's just pointed out that there is ice to me. I know that there is ice in the car park. It rained last night, and then it got cold. <sighs> Honestly. Yes. So, yeah. Have you, you've probably all, you're probably all wrapped and ready, aren't you? You're probably finished for Christmas, and you're wondering, Charlie, how could you have left it so late? And one thing I'll tell you is I'm a man. Second thing I can tell you is from the north. Thing, that thing I'll tell you is that I'm not feeling particularly festive, as mentioned all over this Christmas when I've turned into the flaming Grinch. And the fourth thing is that I just don't know what to get for people. Because I don't. Because I don't know what they want. What do you buy for all these people now? What do you get? You know, you don't want them to be disappointed on Christmas Day. You don't want to get them something tacky and useless. And you want them to get them something that they're actually going to use. Which makes this whole business completely stupid. Why? Why do we buy people presents? Why? Because they've got to spend money on us. We get annoyed if they spend more money than us on us. We get annoyed if they spend more money on us than we have spent on them. So why don't we just get everyone... Why don't we just get our own presents? I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't know why we do presents. Somebody tell me why we do presents. Why do we do gifts? What is this fascination with getting people things? Honestly. Have you ever seen a dog give another dog a present? Do they go out into the garden and dig up a dinosaur fossil and throw it to their partner and say, have at it? I don't know. Never seen a sheep give another sheep its corn? Just saying. Do sheep celebrate Christmas? I mean, they were there when Christ was born, apparently. You know, while shepherds watched their flocks and everything. There were definitely sheep there. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, um, yeah, that, that, that is all.